Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi 11T Pro, and today I'll show you how to record your screen. So, to get started, you'll want to pull down your toggles, which are located on the right side, as you can see. If you pull from the left side, you'll get your notifications instead. So you can simply swipe to get to the toggles itself. Anyway, from here, you can expand the list by dragging down on it and searching for the screen recorder, which is right here. This is the default location of, of it. So if you haven't changed anything, it should be in the same exact location as it is for me. And once you find it, simply click on it. It will give you these couple options right here. So obviously the red one to start recording, folder to open up the recorded ones, or recorded videos that you have already done. And also the last one is the settings, which we can start off by going into at uh, the first go just to see what it's set to. So we have resolution, it looks pretty good. Video quality, okay. Orientation, uh, I would always recommend to keep it on auto. Uh, sound source, system sound, obviously you also have mic or mute. And then we have fixed frame rate, that's toggled by default, which is also fine. And under frame rate, we get actual some decent options here. So again, under frame rate, you have 24, 30, 48, 60, and 90. Now, contrary to popular, popular belief, 24 is most certainly not a cinematic experience, especially when it's not being pre-rendered. So this is absolute garbage. 15 is just uh, a, a slideshow, basically. Uh, 24 is just atrocious. 30, again, almost the same thing as 24. Uh, 48 uh, frames, it's, I guess, decent mid-ground to save save space on your phone uh, but to be fair I strongly recommend using 60. This is the best option which will give you some fluidity uh, to your recording and no choppiness to it and uh, basically everybody can enjoy it. Uh, obviously if you want you can go to 90 but at that point you're kind of sacrificing uh, more storage because the more frames the phone needs to record per second the more space it will take and if you're viewing this on your phone that's fine uh, 90 will look great uh, if you're viewing it probably like on as an example your monitor from work uh, yeah, I highly doubt that you have anything above 60 so it's gonna be lost uh, the additional frame rate is just gonna be lost so yeah so 60 is the best option what I would say now, anyway, once you have gone through all the settings right here that you want to change, you can simply leave this and tap on the red circle to start recording. And whatever application you will open up right now will be recorded by the device. Uh, I opened up Netflix just to kind of point out one thing. Netflix will not be one of those applications that will allow you to, uh, to record screen. So just keep that in mind. Any other application is, uh, is basically accessible so you can open up other apps and they should work fine. The reason why I'm gonna stop it. There we go, stop. Uh, the reason why Netflix uh, basically blocks you from recording screen is because otherwise you'll be able to record their shows and uh, distribute them. Obviously you can download shows, but they're in some uh, trash proprietary format that only works on Netflix and nothing else, making them absolutely useless to anybody uh, that does not have Netflix go figure but yeah anyway so once you have finished the recording you can simply open up your gallery application navigate to albums as you can see I am right now normally you would be in photos so navigate to albums and then screen recorder and there is your screen record thing let's just allow and as you can see there it is And obviously you can already see a black screen. That's usually what you're gonna get with Netflix, nothing else. Just a absolutely, absolute darkness from it. And also sound. Every other app, as you've seen, records without any problem. Netflix is just the special pumpkin that wants to be an absolute garbage to you. So yeah, um, anyway, that is how you record your screen. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.